discuss about using shibboleth uh, for internal resources because uh, a lot of people believe that shibboleth is basically just for getting access to the UK Federation and external resources uh, but what we hope to do here is um, show people that they can actually um, use shibboleth for a lot more um, and they can see the advantages of that. So some common things you can do in an, in, um, an internal federation is you could use VLEs, uh, emails, wikis, blogs, repositories um, and basically some of the benefits from this is you can achieve single sign-on. So not only do you get your single sign-on for external resources, if you shibboleth internal applications as well, they too will have the single sign-on benefits. Also, it provides a common authentication uh, page. So basically, uh, the users will see the same login that they see when they access external resources. So no longer will they need to worry about different, uh, different pages, different login screens, different username and passwords. Um, and for the administration side, it provides the central point of, uh, for administering the attributes. So we can say, uh, these particular users can get access to this resource and we can do that from uh, the attribute level instead of separately in every single uh, application. So a real world example now, at Kinemis College we have four instances of Moodle uh, and, it, and a particular, uh, we had a repository as well uh, and also we needed access to a couple of external Moodles. Well before we used Shibboleth we had um, separate logins for every single machine, every single Moodle um, so the user, as you can see on this diagram, would use separate logins for every single instance of Moodle, repository and any other applications. So the goals at Kinemister College um, were to share the internal VLEs uh, with different departments um, and also we wanted to open that up to different institutions as well. Um, we wanted to share our repository across um, across our institution, but also if need be in the future we could open that up uh, to partner institutions. Um, and we also wanted to get access to UK uh, Federation of Resources. Uh, and this is what, what we've ended up after implementing Shibboleth. So now we use uh, once they've logged on against the in our instance Active Directory, they can have access to all these resources, so there we've got all our instances of Moodle, the repository, and any external sites, uh, all using the Shibboleth, the attributes the Shibboleth is getting from our Active Directory. So we no longer need, users no longer need to um, remember multiple passwords, they no longer see different logins from different um, websites. So this goes back to the benefits that Andy mentioned earlier on in the presentation.